Hey everyone, brand new from Glorious where we focus on goals, gains, and giveaways. Today we're talking about Streamer, a brand new project I've recently discovered and want to talk about to you guys today. As always, this is not financial advice, this is not investing strategy. Please do your own research when it comes to any projects that we talk about. But Streamer is an awesome new project. It's a decentralized platform for real-time data. They've gotten a lot of great press from Forbes, TechCrunch, BBC, the list goes on. Uh, I think they're an awesome project. Today we're going to be talking about what Streamer is, why you should use Streamer. They have a bunch of great case studies, which uh, I'm going to review some of them today. And yeah, just everything going on with this project. And we'll also talk about the data token, which is the ERC token used on the Streamer platform. But I'm super excited to talk about Streamer today. So let's jump into the video. Streamer is building infrastructure for real-time data. The Streamer network is a middleware solution to be leveraged by any decentralized application, such as 3.0 applications or blockchain networks as infrastructure. But unlike some people think, Streamer is not a blockchain. It is a decentralized P2P network for real-time data, and therefore much faster than a blockchain. When building on Streamer, DApp developers no longer have to rely on centralized services like AWS or Microsoft Azure for message transport. The network serves as a seamless plug-and-play solution that connects to the data economy. There are probably thousands of potential use cases for the Streamer network. If you look at who they are competing with, like Microsoft Azure or AWS, they too have so many different customers who are leveraging their infrastructure. Streamer protocol is built for any type of real-time data. So some future applications, for example, any social media app, like Instagram or a chat app like WhatsApp is connected to your Ethereum address. They've been experimenting with live video streaming over the streamer protocol, but the machine data use case is having a much easier to start with as they take less bandwidth. It is a centralized way to share and trade data, meaning it's more secure and robust and faster than a centralized system such as Amazon Web Services. It's a peer-to-peer -peer network, not a blockchain network, however it works companion with blockchain networks. The network is a decentralized topic-based published subscribe system. Each stream or pub sub topic has its own peer-to-peer -peer overlay network that is built and maintained by a set of BitTorrent-like trackers. The project also has the utility token, Data, an ERC-20 token, currently trading on major exchanges. The token will power the tokenomics mechanism on the streamer network. Right now, the network is at Brubeck Milestone, which is stage development that is bringing it closer to full decentralization. Over the next few weeks, they will be running several streamer test nets. Once that phase has been completed, they will launch the mainnet for the current Brubeck Milestone. That release is feature complete for the data transporting itself. After all that, they'll be working on their next milestone called Tatum, which means they'll start introducing token economics to the network. Right now, the current Brubeck milestone, developers or anyone with some knowledge of coding contribute their idle bandwidth and run a node in the streamer network to earn rewards. There are 2 million data tokens up for grabs. There are already 4,000 people all over the world currently running nodes and contributing their bandwidth to the streamer network. Nodes all over the world can be seen in the Stream Network Explorer at stream.network slash network explorer. I'll put the link in the description. The streamer technology works in tandem with current blockchain, Ethereum, and XDAI chain, which are used for identity, security, and payments. So this is the new streamer website at streamer.network. It says streamer, decentralized real-time data network, create, share, and consume data streams on an open, scalable P2P protocol with powerful tools for monetization. Uh, so it's really cool. Actually, they have like layered here. They have their explorer right here. Uh, and this is like the 3D version of it. So you could go around and click around and see the different nodes, which I think is so awesome. Uh, but you could even look at the old uh, Explorer. <laughs> I mean, this one is still cool too, uh, but this one is only uh, 2D, but you could click around and kind of see all around. And the biggest thing you could see um, when you kind of play around with this is that it's, uh, it's a global project, which I think is awesome. Uh, cool. So definitely check out their website. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, I think one awesome thing that they do have is they've just been featured in a lot of places, right? And I think it's good for projects to um, have this kind of media attention. So you could click some of these articles for Forbes and TechCrunch and kind of see how, uh, you know, what they're talking about uh, and kind of the importance of this project, which I think is um, really cool. Again, uh, I'm not going to go through all of this, but uh, definitely check it out um, on your free time. But um, they even give you um, some information on how to connect your data to a streamer node. Uh, so if you guys, uh, obviously if you guys uh, are technical and this makes sense to you, if you want to learn more about their tech stack, this has streamers, a layer zero protocol for real-time data, which powers the centralized streamer pub sub network. 
Uh, and then obviously they have a learn more section. I do think that they do a good job of providing resources um, on all the topics and giving great examples on um, how to work with their uh, network. You even can explore the different streams. So it says real-time data streams are the atomic units of the streamer network. Each stream uses a Ethereum address or ENS name as its primary domain. Explore a few public examples below via the network explorer or simply view their live data. Um, so you can see, and they've literally just been posted, this is posted uh, just now, but you can see some posted a couple days ago. And you can kind of see some of these examples if you want to explore and kind of see the, the data preview um, if you want to. So I think that's awesome. Uh, and if you, again, more things about this project, uh, discover the streamer application layer so you could learn more about their data unions, marketplace, the core app itself, or the network explorer, which I kind of showed um, a bit before. Uh, and then if you want to obviously build with the streamer stack, um, they teach you how to get started with this, um, and which I think is great. I think they have, obviously have a lot of documentations and want to make sure that you fully understand uh, what you're getting into so that you can start building appropriately. Um, and obviously they are um, teaching you as well how to run a node. Uh, and then the Brewback milestone allows anyone to run a network mode. Full tokenomics don't activate until the next milestone, but Brewback still allows node operators to earn data. If you're owning your own app on a streamer or just want to help secure the network, dive in and check out. Again, more links to documentation. And then I think this is cool. Part of the project is the data fund. Get funded. The data fund exists to incentivize the streamer builder ecosystem with grants of 5 to 50k. It could help transform your real-time data into a built project. Check the application page and you'll learn how to uh, apply more or you could drop into their Discord channel if you guys have any questions. So here they talk about some of the projects that are built on streamer. Uh, so the Pave Motors is an example where they're building radically simple electric bikes and rethinking how to move people and their data from ERC-721 tokens for ownership and bike sharing to light nodes, moving metrics on the streamer network, and locking data monetization for owners. Pave and streamer are creating the future of personal transport. So again, if you want to learn more about this and how they're working with streamer, uh, you can do that. But they have a bunch here that you could check out. Um, Swash, a browser extension called Swash, has become the world's first digital data union, introducing at MozFest in London in October 2019. Uh, so they've been working on this project for a while. Allows users to capture their browsing data and then sell it in real time via the data union on the data marketplace with one too many micro payments. So cool, you could check that out. Uh, and then this one was a partnership between the Worldwide Fund for uh, WWF Philippines, Union Bank and Streamers consist Consulting Partner TX is working on Tracy and App for Fishman. They'll use blockchain for documenting, verifying, catch, and traceable data. I checked this out. They have a great video behind it. Essentially, they were doing this manually, but now they're able to get the data in real time, which just changes their whole um, workflow and makes things so much easier for them. But there's a ton of these uh, <laughs> uh, projects that you guys can learn about and see like the different uh, things. And these aren't the only ones. These are the ones that are featured. So if you guys have some awesome ideas, obviously check this out and learn more for yourself. Uh, and obviously, uh, the data token, which I talked a little bit about earlier, you can uh, learn more about this uh, on your own. Uh, but you could even check, like, I kind of like this, uh, how they actually show the price on the website. I don't know why more projects don't do that. But you could actually see um, what's going on, everything that's going on with this project. Uh, and then also the migrate to the new data token, you can learn about that as well. And they talk a little about the data token is ERC-20 token that is used for project governance to incentivize the network, delegating stake on broker nodes, and for payments on the marketplace. You're trading on Uniswap and a range of centralized exchanges. So if you want to check out their project profile, coin market cap listing, or their token contract, feel free to do that. And you can even explore their tokenomics if you guys want to learn more about that as well. And then, of course, the streamer ecosystem. We, we talked a little bit about some of these projects, PAVE, um, et cetera. But if you want to see some of the um, other ones as well and kind of what they did, uh, you could actually learn more here. And again, these are some exciting projects and definitely different ways of using the streamer network, which I think is awesome. Uh, they're not just focusing on one specific niche. They're kind of powering um, a lot of these different businesses, which is great. Uh, they even have some news and dev updates. This is their new website. So if you guys want to learn more, if you guys have seen the previous website, you could kind of learn. This takes you to their medium where they talk about, um, you know, a bunch of things. What's their product updates? Uh, things that they've been doing uh, in the past, and then also kind of like a quick timeline on how everything is going, um, you know, with the, with the roadmap. So definitely check out this out. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Definitely an exciting project. Something I'm gonna keep you guys updated with uh, as much as possible. Here's some updated timings for their testnet three. So around October seventh, so about a week from now, they're gonna publish the new streamer broker node software, and then a couple of days after that, on October twelfth, they're gonna start testnet three for seven days. 
And then after that, on October 19th, Testnet 3 ends. And then the end of October is when they have to have their Brubeck mainnet launch. So keep your eyes on that. Obviously, check out their website, their Twitter, their Telegram to keep informed on everything that's going on with this project. Obviously, learn more. Uh, they have great documentation to learn more about everything going on with this project. Uh, and I'll keep you guys updated as much as possible. Here we are in their Twitter account. They have 53,000 followers. It's a great place to get resources, great place to get updates on everything going on. Uh, they just have a huge community, a lot of people that are, so even if they're not developers on this project, they're just investors, they really believe uh, everything this project is doing. They even have some of the developers like Jonathan Wolf talking um, at events and things like that. So they're definitely putting themselves out there uh, and helping spread the word and answer questions, etc. cetera. Uh, Bitfavo recently listed uh, data, like again, this is getting a lot of excitement that's being listed literally everywhere. They're giving updates on their Brubeck testnet, uh, literally everything. There's some people excited. It says, one of the green nodes of the streamer network. My Raspberry Pi is running with max 10 watts to secure bandwidth to the network and earn some data rewards as well. So remember, we were looking at the nodes. And so this guy is literally sharing um, uh, a screenshot of his setup. Uh, there's this. There's no comparison to classical mining anymore. Decentralized is on essentially on its most simple way, Brubeck Testnet Contest. So uh, yeah, there's also, they're, like I said, they're running this contest uh, and you can learn more about this um, on the platform. But yeah, it's kind of exciting to see people post images of their um, setups, etc. So again, check it out if you guys are learning, trying to learn how to do this or you're experts already. Twitter is a great place to, um, you know, see what how people are doing. Most green node, yes, this is seven watt. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty impressive. Seven watt a streamer, most green test. Uh, and this is literally it. This tiny picture of this, what is that's a tablet, doesn't even need a computer. Uh, the biggest thing on here is a keyboard and probably the mouse. But uh, yeah, uh, so definitely check out their Twitter account. It's a great place. They're telling people to follow them uh, on Discord, etc. I was actually going to comment on this earlier. I was like, oh, what is this node in, in the middle of nowhere? And it says, it's a tough choice, but congrats to August Meme. The month of to go Discord, Discord user SH for going extra mile for just centralization entry. Um, but uh, yeah, I saw this on, uh, I don't know, if, uh, maybe it is uh, on a cruise ship, but um, who knows? Uh, I, it's definitely out there somewhere. But again, if you saw these setups, it's pretty minimal. So uh, possibilities are endless.